Hello everybody, this is Aurora. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you a really quick, simple way to remove backgrounds from images that you want to use to create uh, your digital prints from. Um, this, these images can then be put into other uh, background pages so that you can layer them up and make them look how you want. So here we go. I am using a free program on the internet called Pixlr.com and you have two options, Pixlr X and Pixlr E. They're very similar in what they do. Uh, they're just a little bit different in how it's laid out on the screen for you. So here I'm going to use Pixlr X. When you click on Pixlr X up here, then you'll land on the history bar, but you want to do what you want to do is click create new. So you create new here, and this is the window or um, layout that it gives you. And what I like to do, I like to make it like a 12 by 12 image, as large as I can get it. Um, so this, this is just my preference, but you can make it at whatever size you want. And in pixels, it's 3600 by 3600, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then I click create. Now, you see this here, background, it's not clicked, it's not on. That means there's no color to the background. So you will get a transparent background. And that is what we want. We want it, there to be no white space behind this image. Now, when you come, this is the little checker box. That means it is transparent. That's what that look signifies. Down here, if you come down here, you'll see this little mountain picture kind of thing. It says add image. You click on that. And then you look for your images. Um, sorry, already had it clicked. You get three options. You browse, URL, and stock. Stock is what Pixlr gives you. URL is if you know where the picture is stored. And browse is your computer. So we're going to browse. And it's going to pull up your folders. You guys can't see this. but I'm already, it already opened up my window. So you just go to your computer. If you know where your file is, make sure you know where it is before you start, or if not, you can look for it in, you know, during this process. But you pick out an image, and I'm just going to pick one that I've already downloaded. And then it'll give you this window, which is create new and add current. Well, it says, do you want to add the image as a layer in the current document or create a new document? Just create it in the current document is what I choose. So I say add to current. Now you see that it comes up and it gives you the image that you have and it has a white background. But I don't want that back white background. So I click over here on the scissors, click on that, choose magic cutout, and then click on a space that I that I know I want that color to be erased. Now it's not going to erase everything that's that color. It's going to determine where your image is. And once it does, it erases it, poof, it disappears. Now you have a see-through background with your image in the middle. You click save and then you save it to your computer. You want to keep it as a PNG. Don't change it to a JPEG. You can title it here, but it it doesn't matter because it gives you a way to to give it a title or a name to save it. My recommendation for you guys is to uh, know where you're storing all your files. I had a horrible time trying to find mine because I didn't pay attention to where I was storing them. But anyway, make sure you know, create it on your desktop, create it wherever you have on a USB, whatever you want, wherever you want on your computer. Um, this. Uh, video. I'm going to leave a link down below. If you don't want to use this um, program, then you can watch my collab that I'm doing with Jessica Reed, and she has a YouTube channel where she uses Word to do all of this. So go on over to her channel. I have I'll have the links down below, and to this program and to her channel. So uh, come along with us. We also have a Facebook group, which I'll also leave the link down below. Hope you can join us. Bye.